what is a PSLV? Well, PSLV stands for the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It is nothing but the third generation launch vehicle in India that is developed and managed by the ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. It is also called as the workhorse of the ISRO for consistently delivering the various satellites into the Earth's lower orbit and uh, the Sun synchronous polar orbit. So its main function is to deliver the satellites into the Earth's orbits. But there are different kinds of the satellites that is uh, transferred by this PSLV into the Earth's orbit. Well, these particular satellites are include the Earth's observation satellites, remote sensing satellites which are used for the non-military activities. The some of the satellites collect the meteorological data, and some of the satellites are used for the navigation purpose, such as the GPS. Well, guys. Over here, the main function of this PSLV is to transfer those satellites into the Earth's orbit. So this is the reason it is known as this Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It transfers the satellites into the polar orbits of the Earth. So over here, guys, this particular PSLV, when we look at the specifications, it consists of the four stages, basically two solid stages and the two liquid stages. That is the solid stages that is propelled by the HTPB. a uh, solid motorized engine whereas the liquid stages these are consist of the vikas engine over here we, if we talk about the payload capacity the payload capacity varies from the 0.6 to 1.8 tons that is in a case of the pslv and if we go at the higher level that is 2.5 tons that is the payload capacity that can be achieved with the use of gslv that is nothing but the geo synchronous satellite launch vehicle this particular gslv we can say this gslv is the big big brother of the pslv but over here guys in our today's video we are going to talk about pslv only we will see the overall the specifications and the different stages in the pslv so guys if you are new over here on my education channel engineers academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon because whenever i upload a new educational informative video you will get instant notification so guys our today's topic is the pslv it's like different stages in the pslv and the specifications of the pslv we are going to cover in today's video so guys without wasting any time let's begin so guys as i have said earlier the main function of the pslv is to deliver the satellites into the earth's orbit well this particular uh, delivering process can be achieved in the four different stages in case of the pslv whereas in case of gslv it is only in the three stages now why these stages are required like when a rocket like when a rocket like it just produces some amount of the thrust by using the liquid propellant engine or as the solid uh, motorized engine over here that is htpb motors but like from for cover that particular distance into the earth's desired orbit okay at a desired location it cannot go in a single stage so that's why over here the four stages are required so when we look at look at the specifications of this particular pslv this particular pslv has the three types of the variants that is nothing but the pslv g pslv xl and pslv ca over here guys pslv g that uses the six strap on boosters where this particular oh, this particular strap on boosters are located at the bottom side over here you can see these are nothing but the six strap on boosters that is of 9 tons ca each capacity well in the case of the xl that is pslv xl there are also six extended strap on booster but over here the capacity increase up to 12 tons and also there is a stand alone version of this pslv that is the core alone that is nothing but the pslv ca over here the ca stands for the core alone version in this particular version there are no additional strap on booster motors so now when we look at this uh, pslv the pslv overall height of the pslv is around 49 meters overall diameter is around 2.8 meters so this particular pslv consists of the four different stages well now uh, let's start from the bottom stage at the bottom we can see uh, this is the six strap on booster motors are there which is nothing but the solid propellant htpb engines this particular htpb is nothing but the fuel the htpb stands for hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene and it produces the maximum thrust of 719 kg then we will come to the first stage that is nothing but the ps1 of this pslv 
This particular first stage consists of the solid engine. It uses the S139 solid rocket booster that contains the 139 tons of HTPB hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene. This particular S139 solid rocket motor produces the maximum thrust of 4800 kN which is sufficient to take a lift off and it gains the acceleration to the rocket. The next stage that is nothing but the PS2. The next stage consists of the liquid propellant engine over here that is also known as the Vikas engine. Over here guys the fuel which is used in the Vikas engine is the mixture of the UDMH plus M2O2. The UDMH stands for unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrogen whereas the N2O2 stands for the dinitrous oxide. So this is the mixture of these two which is used in the Vikas engine to produce the maximum thrust. Over here guys after the solid engine in the first stage in the second stage we have used the liquid engine. It produces the maximum thrust of 799 kN. So again in the stage 3 we have got the solid propellant we have used the HTPB solid rocket motor. Over here in the third stage, it produces the maximum thrust of 240 kN. And in the last stage, that is in the PS4, that is the last stage of this PSLV, it uses the again the liquid engine that is known as the Vikas engine. And over here, this particular fourth stage is very much important stage because at that particular fourth stage, the, uh, the satellite launch vehicle reaches to the uh, optimum uh, orbit at which he needs to transfer those satellites out in the uh, different uh, required orbits of the earth so this fourth stage is propelled by the liquid engine because guys basically what happens in the case of the solid engine and the liquid engine so in the case of the solid engine we have got the required thrust which is used for the uh, sufficient lift off but over here in the liquid engine we have produced the thrust as well as a better control and a stability over the satellites. So this is the reason at the higher regions like higher altitudes this liquid engine is more preferred because over here we get a uh, maximum thrust as well as the better control. So at the stage 4 we have used the liquid engine that is nothing but the Vikas engine. It produces the maximum thrust of the 7.6 into 2 kN. This particular stage 4 is responsible for the correct injection of the satellites that is the payloads into the desired orbit of the earth. And in the last stage that is nothing but the payload sphering. This particular payload sphering this part, or the payloads which are there in the PSLV gets fired out and it is injected into the space into the desired earth orbit. Over here guys the multi payload adapter that is used in the payload fairing. Over here guys this particular multi payload adapter shoots all the satellites up into the desired orbit into their desired trajectories during the orbiting phase. So guys this is how the, uh, this particular PSLV gets launched from the stage 1 and it shoots all the satellites into the desired trajectories at the stage 4. So this is how a PSLV works. So guys, I hope you understood the working of the PSLV. If you have any doubts and any queries, you can comment below. Also guys, do you know how many satellites are there into the space, which is circling around the Earth? Well, there are around 6,000 of the satellites which are circling around the Earth, out of which 40% are in operation and the remaining 60% is called as the space junk. This particular 40% we are using right now in our daily infrastructure and these are nothing but the vital part of our life. Well guys in our next video we will be learning about the GSLV which is the bigger brother of this PSLV. So please stay tuned and guys please do hit like, please do comment and please motivate me so that I can make more of such educational content for you. Thank you so much guys for watching this educational video.